Hi guys and welcome to a new WordPress and WooCommerce tutorial video. As you might know, there are a lot of free WordPress plugins to use for your web shop or your website. And in this tutorial video, I want to tell you which five plugins are the best to use and are free to use. Let's start with the first free must-have plugin, Yoast SEO. Yoast SEO is one of the most used plugins for both WooCommerce and WordPress websites. Thanks to the Yoast SEO, you can easily optimize your blog posts, pages and products for search engines, mainly Google. Yoast SEO takes all requirements of Google into account when optimizing a product, page or blog post. To see if you are doing a good job, they use a sort of traffic light. When the traffic light is red, you should improve. When it's green, you're all set. Besides, they give you feedback on what to exactly improve to make your traffic light green. Everything based on the keyword you have filled in. Even without any low knowledge of SEO, you can easily increase positions in Google. Second free plugin is WooCommerce PDF invoices and packing slips. When selling products, a customer expects a PDF invoice for proof of payment. Besides, it is common to add a so-called packing slip within the package with the summary of the ordered products. When you have installed the plugin and you go into WooCommerce, you can go to WooCommerce PDF invoices and there you can check all settings with regards to this plugin. The most beneficial thing of this plugin is that you can easily put in your own details within the invoice and the packing slip. You can also add your terms and conditions and other privacy policies. You can add extra fields if you want to have any extra information on the invoice that the customer should know about. And you can also sort of design the document. And what is really best about this plugin is that you can choose whether or not to send it to the customer and in which case to send it to the customer. Because you can do so when you have, for example, completed the order, which mainly you can do so when the order is filled or maybe when it's canceled. So you can decide yourself when to send the invoice as an attachment in the email. The third free and must have plugin for your WooCommerce store is the Surfiliate WooCommerce plugin. Surfiliate is an affiliate tracking system which allows you to start up your own affiliate program with your own affiliates. And what's necessary to do so with, a, with an affiliate program is that affiliates have a referral URL and they will get a commission based per sale. So you need to know when a sale has been made via the particular affiliate. So when you have installed the Surfiliate WooCommerce plugin, you can go to WooCommerce and then settings and then above click Surfiliate. And there, of course, you need to authorize. You can set a minimum order amount which an affiliate have to have before it gets commission and the reference lifetime, which is basically the cookie duration in days. So how long will a cookie of an affiliate be valid? And one of the most benefits of this plugin is that you can easily connect an order to an affiliate, which is nice. We're, we're not authorized at this moment, but normally you will have a drop down, a list of potential affiliates will pop up and then you can connect this order also manually um, when for some reason someone didn't use a referral URL. And also subscriptions are um, supported by this plugin. So basically what it does, it sees when an affiliate URL is used, it then connects automatically an order to the affiliate and calculates the commission. But if something happens why uh, the referral URL is not used and the order could not be tracked, then you can also manually connect the order or the subscription to the affiliate. The fourth free plugin is the advanced custom fields. And there's a good reason why I think this is a must have for almost every single WooCommerce or WordPress store, because it gives you the ability to apply custom fields with dynamic values. So for example, when you want to show the amount of downloads of a product, for example, or the amount of purchases, you can easily use advanced custom fields for that and make sure that it's dynamically filled. It's an awesome plugin. However, you do need some technical experience for this plugin in order for you to understand how to use it. Because you need to know the structure of WordPress, the structure of WooCommerce, how it works with hooks and custom fields. So therefore, don't do this when you don't have enough technical knowledge. Then preferably 
this should be used by a technical person. So let me show you a bit about uh, the advanced custom fields. Um, when you have installed the plugin, as you have seen here, you can go to custom fields and you can add a new one basically. And what it does, it can literally add fields to your WordPress backend, which might be uh, convenient for you. So for example, if you want to know the return reason of a product and you want to save that within that product, you can say, I want to add a field and let's call it return reason. Um, it's a text field or you can say it will be a drop down, for example. Uh, you can say here checkbox, select, radio button, but let's do for now a text field to keep it short and easy. Um, it's not required because luckily not every order will be, uh, re will be returned, sorry for that. Um, and you can add some other things if you would like to. And then the important part about this is where to show this field. So um, in this case, we want to show it in the order. And um, I know for a fact that an order is a post type. You should know that, so therefore the technical knowledge is required. And the post type is equal to an order. Um, and then basically you can also decide where to exactly position it, normal after content, high after title, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, I just want to show you what is happening now. So we have added a text field and we have called it return reason. Now go back to orders. So let's go check the order to see if the custom field has been added to the product. And yes, it has, which is awesome. So now we can say uh, return reason was product was not as expected. So now we have saved the return reason product was not as expected. Um, and that's nice. So now we know what was the reason and you can do lots of more advanced things with the advanced custom fields. Um, but this is just a short example of what it can do and how it can be helpful for you. Last and fifth free plugin for WooCommerce is Shops United. Shops United is a platform where you can purchase shipping labels for your shipments in your WooCommerce store. And one of the beneficial things about Shops United itself is that it supports many shipping carriers and therefore you will always have a competitive price for every single shipping carrier, even though you have not yet high volumes within your WooCommerce store. So what the plugin basically does, it can send the order to Shops United and you can easily extract the shipping label from within your WooCommerce store and then print it, put it on the package and everything will be working flawlessly. So let's check out how this actually works in practice. So what it actually does, when you go to WooCommerce settings, you will see a Shops United tab where you can activate your license key and fill in all the settings with regards to the Shops United's plugin. Well, I am not going to tell you everything about the settings itself, but basically you can enable the plugin um, and you can say, okay, when should I create a shipping label automatically with which order status, for example. So you can say, for example, processing. Um, when we save that and we go back to orders, we can select the order and we can say, uh, print Shops United label or log into Shops United. So in this case, what it literally does, it creates the shipping label and then next we can print it. And that's the easiest I can explain it. And it does that for multiple shipping carriers with uh, competitive prices. So I think it's a no brainer to use Shops United within your WooCommerce store. Also what it does, that's good to know, is that it retrieves a track and trace code, which you can then send back to your customer. As you might have noticed, we are not a big fan of free WordPress WooCommerce plugins. And that's because of a reason. When you add a lot of WordPress plugins to your store, which mainly are free, you add a lot of functionality, a lot of different code. And basically you can say it like, uh, set a Spanish person next to a German person and let them talk together. 
eventually they can't communicate with each other. And that's the same with free WordPress plugins. It's developed by different developers with a different approach and therefore it can be, uh, it can have a downside to add lots of free WordPress plugins to your store. So therefore we advise you to put a maximum of 25 WordPress plugins to your store. With that having said, we do have some tips with regards to free plugins. If you prefer to have free plugins, what to look at and what not to choose and what to choose to use as a free plugin. So let's go to the checklist. Never install an activated plugin which has not been updated in the last three months. Always look at the plugin reviews which should have a four or higher. And look at the amount of active installations. The more installations, the more stable and the safe the plugin will be. Well, that was it for this week's video. I hope you find it useful and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a thumbs up below this video. My name is Jessica Riesch and I'm the founder and owner of Vusa and we develop and maintain premium WooCommerce plugins. For now, let's have a great day and I see you to the next one.